I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question based on limits. We need to determine the equation of tangent line to the curve f of x equals to 2 over square root of x plus 3 at x equals to 6. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now at x equals to 6, what is the point? That means what is f of 6 equals to? So if I substitute 6 here, I get 2 square root 6 plus 3 which is 9 and that gives me 2 square root of 9 or 2 over 3, right? So that is the value at 6. That means we have a point which is 6, 2 by 3, correct? To find tangent, we'll consider another point Q which is very close. Close means we'll take a value where the x value will be 6 plus h. You get the idea. Now, if 6 plus h is the x value, then what is the y value? Let's calculate that also, right? So, so if 6 plus h is the x value, then what is f of 6 plus h? So, we'll replace 6 plus h here. So, we get 2 over square root of 6 plus h plus 3, which basically is 2 over square root of 9 plus h, correct? So that becomes the value of y. So I could write this point Q as 6 plus h and 2 over square root of 9 plus h. You get the idea. So these are the two points. And knowing the two points, we can always find the slope of the tangent line, right? So we are going to use now difference quotient method to find the slope, right? So to find the slope, we can say that the slope is the limit where h approaches 0. This h is very close, where h approaches 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a over h. So by definition, that is how we are going to find the limit. Perfect. So this could be written as limit h approaches 0. f of a plus h we just found is this expression, which is 2 over square root of 9 plus h. And f of a is 2 over 3, so minus 2 over 3. Everything divided by a. So that is the limit which we are trying to find. Is that clear? Perfect. Now to find this limit, let's cross multiply and simplify this particular expression. So we get this as limit h approaches 0. And when you cross multiply, you get 2 times 3 is 6, right? So we could write this as 6 minus 2 square root 9 plus h over. All this comes in the denominator. Perfect. So 3 times h times square root of 9 plus h. Doesn't make sense to you. So that is what you get. Now to solve it further, what we need to do? We need to rationalize the expression. So we'll rationalize and say slope m is equal to limit h approaches 0 and we have all this which is 6 minus 2 square root of 9 plus h over 3h square root of 9 plus h. So rationalize means we'll multiply and divide by the conjugate of this, right? So which is 6 plus 2 square root of 9 plus h. We could have simplified this by taking 2 common Right? So we'll be working with smaller number in that case, but I haven't done so here. But you could definitely do it, right? So we have uh, this expression, which is slightly bigger numbers. Anyway, so when you do the numerator, difference of squares, you could write this as limit. H approaches 0. 6 square is 36 minus 2 square is 4 times square root square is 9 plus H over all this, right, which is 3h times square root 9 plus h 
times, let me write in brackets, 6 plus 2 square root 9 plus h. Clear? So that's what you get. Now, if I open this numerator, what do I get? I get slope m limit h approaches 0. 36 minus 36. Do you see that part? So 36 cancels. So you're left with minus 4h above. So we have minus 4h over all this, which is 3h times square root 9 plus h times 6 plus 2 square root 9 plus h. Clear? So that 36 and 4 times 9 cancels. Now you could cancel the h. Once you do that, then you can substitute the value of h and find the result, right? So the slope m, when you write 0 here for h, you get minus 4 over 3, square root 3, square root 9, which is 3, times 6 plus 2, square root 9, correct? Which you get as minus 4 over, uh, this is 3 times 3 is 9, and this is 6 plus 2, 2 times 3 is 6 as 12, right? So 9 times 12. Now 12 and this can be simplified. So you get negative 1 over 27. So that becomes the slope at the given point. Correct? So this becomes the slope at the given point. Minus 1 over 27. Now what is the equation of the line? Equation of the line, the tangent line, will be y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Correct? Using this, we can write down the equation now. So we have y minus y1, which is 2 over 3, equals to m, which is minus 1 over 27, times x minus x1, which is 6. Correct? So that is how you get your equation. And now to simplify, we'll just multiply with 27. So we get 27y minus, that is 9 times 2, 18, equals 2. Here we get minus x plus 6. Bringing all the terms together, x minus, I mean x this side, plus 27y, bringing 6 this side gives us minus 24 equals to 0. Got it? So, so that becomes the equation for us. Right? So this was plus and we bring it to this side. So it becomes minus. So that becomes the equation of tangent line. Perfect. So that is how using first principle, we can find equation of a tangent line to a given curve. I hope that helps. Feel free to share your views, write your comments, share my videos, and if you like and subscribe to them, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.